Nick Marshall is a Chicago advertising executive who grew up with a Las Vegas showgirl as a mother. For his entire life, he's been showered in ladies' consideration which made him an extremist who considers himself God's gift to ladies. He is talented at offering to men and tempting ladies. All men sees him as the extremely confident man and all ladies appear to support his methodologies. However, similarly as he suspects he's set out toward an advancement as the new imaginative chief, his director, Dan, illuminates him that he is employing Darcy McGuire instead a lady with a standing for taking care of business eater, to expand the company's enticement for ladies. A market scratch doesn't know anything about. Likewise, his alienated 15-year-old girl Alex is enjoying 14 days with him while his ex Gigi goes on her vacation with her new spouse. Alex is humiliated by Scratch's ways toward ladies, and dislikes him a great deal for his indifference for her throughout the long term. On her most memorable day at work, Darcy gives every one of her representatives, including Scratch, a container of Leda-like items and anticipate that they should think of thoughts to sell those. Expecting to do right by Darcy and Dan, Scratch gives them a shot at home attempting to concoct thoughts and becoming inebriated simultaneously. Subsequently, he slips and falls into his bath while holding an electric hair dryer, stunning himself to obviousness. The following day, Scratch awakens ready to hear his servant's contemplations as she cleans his loft. As he strolls through a recreation area and experiences various ladies, he understands that he can hear their contemplations, even those of a female poodle. It deteriorates when he goes to work and understands that all his female collaborators detests him, including the ones that were truly good to him. He then races to a past specialist, Dr. Perkins who, he finds out, detests him also. From the get-go, she doesn't really accept that him yet he's ready to demonstrate to her that he can hear all her considerations. She then, at that point, assists him with understanding the greatness of his new gift, assuming men are from Mars and ladies are from Venus, and you can speak Venusian, the world can be yours. Outfitted with that new viewpoint, Scratch begins listening in on ladies' viewpoints and utilizations their thoughts as motivations for his own missions. Meanwhile, he likewise starts to foster genuine kinships with his female collaborators. Scratch likewise understands that Darcy is an extremely viable and proficient inventive chief. He chooses to involve his new capacity to set nearer to Darcy up to ultimately curb her and land her position. Which works impeccably from the beginning, however as he invests more energy with Darcy, he ends up being drawn to her. In the meantime, he attempts to draw nearer to his little girl, however she loathes him for attempting after such countless long stretches of disregard. He is at last ready to bond with her a little by assisting her shop for a dress for a prom with moving. In the wake of shopping, they have a discussion where Scratch wisely thinks that her sweetheart, who's 18 years of age, plans to lay down with her and afterward dump her. He attempts to give her the sex discuss not getting it done on the off chance that you're not all set for the right person, but rather she doesn't need Scratch's recommendation. Scratch finds another advantage to his new power when he goes to lure Lola, a bistro chaperone who generally declined his advances previously. They go out on the town and Scratch utilizes his ability to make it the ideal date for her. She carries him back home to engage in sexual relations however Scratch finds himself unfit to carry out the thing appropriately in light of the fact that he continues hearing her scrutinizing everything he might do. He pauses for a minute to refocus and returns to the charge. We don't actually have the foggiest idea what he did any other way however, eventually, she calls him, to her, a sex god and Scratch is exceptionally pleased with that. From that point forward, Scratch and Darcy start to get to know each other, and at last one evening, they kiss. Returning home, Scratch finds a distressed Lola who hasn't heard from him in seven days, requesting replies. Knowing there's just a single response that won't hurt Lola or cause her to feel dismissed, Scratch cooperates with Lola's viewpoints and owns up to her that he is exceptionally gay. Scratch begins to regret himself and how he's treating Darcy. He considers the mistake of his ways of being well as the blunder of men's ways toward ladies overall. Particularly when he figures out how to best Darcy out of her thoughts for another Nike advertisement crusade focused on ladies, which prompts an exceptionally rewarding agreement for the firm yet additionally to Darcy being terminated and Scratch being advanced. Scratch at long last get down to business and defies his supervisor about terminating Darcy. He persuades him that every one of his thoughts were hers and he ought to take her back which he consents to. 
Scratch is going to go to Darcy's to make sense of everything when he figures out that Aaron, one of the workplace SECRA Tai whose self-destructive contemplations Scratch heard on many events, has not going to work and hasn't called by the same token. Persuaded of the most exceedingly awful Scratch goes to Aaron's wanting to stop her. On his way, Scratch observer an electrical blast while remaining in the downpour. He goes to Aaron and converses with her, in the meantime understanding he's not hearing her contemplations any longer and closing he lost his gift. He then, at that point, goes to Darcy's yet can't contact her and leaves. That evening, he is accommodated with his little girl when her sweetheart dismissed her for heeding Scratch's guidance all things considered. He takes care of his girl and goes to Darcy's around midnight to admit everything at long last. She first flames him, which Scratch never saw coming however acknowledges he merits it and acknowledges it. She then excuses him and consents to save him from himself, to which he answers my legend and they kiss. Thank you for watching and see you again in another movie story.